Foaming in wastewater treatment plants can be caused by young bugs, old bugs, and or something coming into the plant that is upsetting your bugs. Many times, high amounts of fat, oils, grease, and surfactants will cause foaming in a wastewater plant. As the water gets cold, metabolism of the naturally occurring bacteria slow down. As they slow down, fats, oils, and grease is only broken down partially into fatty acids and other precursors. Nicardia and Microtex parvicella use these fatty acids to multiply, causing foam. Outbreaks of Nicardia have been shown to produce 5 to 20 feet of sticky, elastic foam in a very limited amount of time. Under a microscope, Nicardia is a short, gram-positive filament. It generally results in a very low effluent BOD as it is a ferocious eater. Microthrix, on the other hand, produces 4 to 12 inches of dark, matty foam and will also cause filamentous bulking. When gram stained, it looks like purple spaghetti under a microscope. Along with the foam, Microthrix causes poor settling. After years of observing this issue and witnessing the fatality of adding defoamer to overcome the foam, we developed Foam Buster. Foam Buster is essentially a steroid and vitamin complex for the good bacteria in your plant, giving them the tools they need to degrade the fats, oils, grease, and surfactants to starve off the Nicardia and Microthrix. With the dwindling food supply, Nicardia and Microthrix cannot survive. The foam goes away and settling improves. We've had cases where Nicardia is reduced by over 90% and Microthrix has completely vanished after the use of our Foam Buster. Wastewater plants that use Foam Buster report less sludge production and a better sludge cake. If you have any issues or questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-888-757-9577.